Hi guys, Mark at Bear Hobbies. Thanks for joining me on the next video. I want to say hello to all my new subscribers. Real pleasure to see you on the channel. So we're doing a review. Now, as you may have known, and from previous videos, I work as an editor on uh, Abram Squad magazine with my good friend, Perry Pla. Now, you might notice the new t-shirt. This is a brand new uh, magazine that's come out from Perry. It's called Diorama Mag. So I've got the t-shirt and I've got the magazine here. Um, we're gonna flick through the pages and I'm gonna tell you what this is about and uh, let's go and have a look and get started with that. Okay, so. Diora Diorama Mag uh, is the very first, it's the very first issue out from Perry Pla. Articles, reviews, galleries and news. Let's flick through the pages. I need to mention the editor, Sven Frisch, who is uh, very well known in the modeling community as a uh, diorama creator and uh, armor modeler. And uh, we've got, uh, let's, let's just have a look through the content and see what's going to be inside. It's going to be history dioramas, so the classics like Shepard Payne, who's sadly passed away. Uh, we've got amazing artists here, uh, John Rosengrant, Roger Herfman's, of course, who is uh, master, at, obviously, at scale more at uh, the Dutch shows. Uh, Marcel Akel, Dirk Meniger, Juan, uh, Juan Lee, uh, Bernard Lustig, of course, very well known. Uh, Wan Hu Lee, Guzaki Ashoka, Per Olive Lund, of course, and Volker uh, uh, Bembenek, who I've had the pleasure to meet. And another classics from Francois Verlinden. And of course, uh, Sven Frisch, of course, joins in. So, over 100 pages in this magazine. Uh, so, it's nearly like a, a bookazine, uh, very high quality production. Uh, quite nice to see this explanation of dioramas right at the start. Uh, dioramas to me are the, the highest level of modeling. You're combining all elements, uh, obviously, of the craft, of construction. Uh, elements of figure painting, uh, scratch building, to actually convey a story. That is what a diorama ultimately should do. Now, some news that covers uh, diorama-specific um, uh, products, which is uh, great to see. Uh, these are usually the smaller market producers. Of course, Mini Art, of course, very well known for producing uh, many of them. And... Here's the first diorama by Shepard Payne, a, a classic of the uh, Tamiya 88 with the even the Tamiya figures. And I, I can actually re remember this one. It's just great to see it showcased there. And uh, here's the cover story, which is this uh, U.S. Marines tank in uh, in Vietnam. I'll flick through briefly. You can obviously see very high quality photographs, uh, which you would come to expect. Uh, Roger Herkman's. This is a classic. This was uh, the one that um, I know he got best to show in in uh, twenty was it twenty fourteen? I think when I was there. So uh, great to see that some um, showcases of his very well known uh, models. You know, I can remember this from Euro Militaire. And uh, straight away, we we've actually got a explanation of how to uh, reproduce brickwork so this is pretty unique stuff um, step by steps explaining how to you know recreate these stone piers and brickwork which is um, you know something that isn't really that well covered in the typical uh, armor uh, magazines which um, sort of brush over dioramas to some extent but when you've got a specialist magazine like this you're going to get a lot of information to produce these uh, scratch built buildings etc let's, let's flick through a little bit quicker and even some uh, naval dioramas which uh, you know it's pretty fantastic it's 1700 scale so uh, obviously uh, masterworks you know, even the difference between the, you know, Brown Water Navy, a Vietnam um, patrol boat on, on a river, uh, one to four, four scale strike eagle. Pretty cool. 
And here we go, another diorama, The Death of Fury, inspired by, of course, the famous movie with that battered M4A3E8 with all that. Look at all this. He depicted all the lead from the um, uh, small arms fire on, on that. Let's see what else there is. So some beautiful uh, photography and illustration there. And he's shown us which figures he's used. And uh, Bernhard Lustwig's uh, Stog Diorama. Yeah, another one from uh, 2014. It's like really nice photography. Real showcase stuff. And another naval diorama. And now step by step showing you how you can actually build this up. So really uh, valuable stuff for anybody who's contemplating uh you know, trying to recreate a diorama as such. Um, it's giving you all the step by steps to to give this um, effects of uh, fire and smoke. And there's some great photographer there. Very interesting. The Japanese model. Yes, we have seen this before. Japanese master Kazuya Yoshuka. Very well. Now, this is this is pretty old. This one, but it's just great to see it. Uh, perfectly showcased again yeah 2010 so it's like good eight years old Pearl of Lund is a master he really is I can remember from the old um, uh, it was the old uh, Nick Jimenez forum from his original like back in the day the old Nick Productions forum and I can remember Per Olive uh, illustrating his, um, he had a step-by-step -step blog that was explaining, I think it was a, uh, a VW that was degrading in a garden. And I, I was just pretty much stunned. And let's just see this. Great. We're getting get all the step-by-step -step information on how to recreate that. This um, fallen walker with the Ewoks there. Pretty cool. And here's uh, Volker. I had the pleasure to meet Volker um, a few years ago in, in Holland. Uh, and another master, of course. So, I mean, it's like the high-level artist here. I mean, these, these guys are, you know, the gold medal winners. And there's some just fantastic photography. And then we come to the end and we've got some, uh, some classic, another classic, Francois Verlinden. And I, I can actually, I can remember this scene exactly from one of his books it's just great to see it great to see it again and another step by step we get by um uh sven fish here explaining how to do some uh, road work cobble work scenes and there's some more complex stuff a forest base step by step really useful stuff for anybody who is uh, working on dioramas at the moment, want to up, up their uh, game a bit, or uh, if you're just a diorama fan. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what this is. This is a show in Penang, Malaysia, which is pretty cool to see that, isn't it? I mean, that's not a usual show report. And there we are, back to the end. So... Check out the link below for uh, Perry Plaza's website. Uh, I'll probably bring you a few more of these. Um, and of course, we'll be back on track. Uh, I've got a video coming up, which is going to be a uh, showcase of a Type 69 real soon. Uh, thanks again, uh, new subscribers. And big announcement, I've got a competition coming up. Um, I want to increase subscribers, so there's going to be a bit of a promo on this. But uh, you guys are sort of the first in, my first 200. So uh, you've got a good chance. Um, I'll, I'll announce that real soon, give you details. Uh, it's going to be a good one. Okay, thanks guys and see you real soon.